Hello everyone and welcome to ACA 122. My name is Karen Bachnevik and I'm excited to be your instructor for this fall semester. I wanted to make this video not only to welcome you to the course, but to go over some of the key aspects of the course that will help you in being successful. So by now you've landed on our homepage and right below this video that you're watching is a copy of our syllabus. So for those of you that are new to college, a syllabus is essentially like your contract with that course. It's really important before the start of class and throughout the semester that you read through your syllabus. It's gonna go over things like how you're gonna be graded, how the course is gonna lay it out, if you're um, able to turn in assignments late. So it's really important, again, that you understand that syllabus. And if you have any questions about it, make sure to reach out to your instructor. Right below your syllabus is something called an attendance verification. You will have to do this for all of your courses, so make sure to go ahead and get that done um, this week. This is essentially just a, hey, I'm here. It's making sure that you're present in the class. If you don't do the attendance verification, unfortunately, you're subject to being dropped from the course. Right below that attendance verification is an announcements folder. So in my course, I send out announcements every Monday to let you know what to expect for that week. If you ever lose that email and you want to go back and find it easily, you can just click into this folder here. Below the announcements is a link to student resources. This covers a lot of the resources that we have here on campus. We're also going to be going over these resources as a part of ACA. So right below our welcome page is a link to instructor information. So if you ever need to reach out to me, you can best contact me by email. This also has my office location and office hours. Again, those of you that are new to college, because ACA is designed for students that are new to college, office hours are a time that you're able to drop in and see your instructor. I do always encourage students, however, to reach out beforehand and let an instructor know that you're coming. Also for me, I have a link that you can use to schedule a 30 minute meeting that could be in person or virtually. Below that link here is a link to our um, software that we provide to students for free, which is NetTutor. So this provides help in a variety of subject areas from math to science to Spanish to English. You can um, just click this link here and pick your subject area. There are live tutors for math and English 24-7. Other subject areas, the hours vary. You can also drop off questions through NetTutor. A great way to utilize this resource is in English. You can drop off a paper and have somebody read it and edit it, and then they'll send those edits back to you within 48 hours. I did want to touch base on how our course is going to run. So you'll notice that all the weeks are open to you, so you can work ahead in this class. I would encourage you if you have something coming up one week, maybe you're going out of town or vacation, you go ahead and work ahead and get that done. Even though the whole course is open up to you, there are deadlines. So as you can see, week one is due Monday on August the 21st. My deadlines are always at noon, which is lunchtime, not midnight. So it's due Monday on 821. Um, all of our assignments, it will always run Monday to Monday. So always keep mon Monday as a deadline in your head for this class. So I'm just going to open up week one to show you what these weeks are going to look like. At the top, you're going to have a list of assignments to complete. So if you're ever questioning, did I turn in everything this week? The list is always going to be at the top here. I'm always going to have instructional videos for you. This would be the same videos that I would teach in my seated classes. Often I get questions where the answers are found in the videos for that week. So even though I welcome questions, I would really encourage you to first watch these videos. Directly below the videos, I'm going to have links to any resources, so handouts or things that I would normally pass out in a seated class that I think is going to help you. And then towards the bottom, you're going to see these headers that say assignments. So these are where you're going to find your assignments for the week. So for week one, you're going to have to do a discussion forum. Again, you can access that by clicking directly into it here. You're going to have a syllabus quiz. So again, I'm ensuring that you're reading the syllabus. You're going to take a quick quiz on that. Um, and then the last assignment is going to be actually you sending me an email. And a lot of students are like, well, why do I have to send you an email? This is an online class. I want to make sure that you're accessing your, your email and that you know my email address in case you have any questions. So that's typically how our week is going to run in this class. So again, lesson videos, resources, and then the assignments are going to be towards the bottom. I did want to point out a feature of Moodle is your gradebook. 
So down here at the very bottom under the last week, you're going to see something called a course dashboard. In all of your courses, that's how you're going to access your gradebook for the class. When you click into the course dashboard and you click into the link that says gradebook, you're going to see your grades, but you're also going to be able to see your instructor's feedback. It's really important that you read over that feedback, especially if you have to turn in a similar assignment later on in the semester. You want to see what kind of you know, suggestions that your instructor is giving you for the future. ACA is a course that's really designed to help you in all of your courses. Um, this is a class where I tell students, as long as you turn in the work, you should certainly earn an A. Because again, I'm trying to help you, I'm not trying to hurt you. If you ever have questions, and this isn't just about ACA, this is about anything on campus, any questions you have as a student, please feel free. I'm the person that you can certainly reach out to, email me, set up a time to meet, whatever works best for you. I look forward to getting to know you this semester.